Hello, my friends, and welcome to another video of me. <laughs> I don't think I got a good uh, light there. Hmm. That's better. As you can tell from the thumbnail, I am smoking 8 State Burley. Um, a blend I missed out on last year. Uh, I wasn't able to get it, uh, sadly. But this year, I was able to pull the trigger and get it. There we go. I think I got a good uh, light there. Now, before I get into the review, hmm, I had a little retro hail there. That was interesting. I wasn't really thinking about it. I just kind of, kind of did it. Hmm. Anyway. So this morning, I'm off today, uh, hanging out with my dad a little bit, but uh, I took the Jeep in to get service because of the fog light issue, uh, the ongoing saga or drama, if you will. Um, so in case you don't know, I'll, real quick, uh, I replaced the plastic bumper on my Jeep Gladiator, uh, which had the halogen lights, and I got the steel bumper, which has LED lights. I slapped that on, I go to plug it in because it's a plug and play thing, the LEDs wouldn't work. <laughs> So I take the old harness off the old bumper and go over to the, the the harness and sure enough the LEDs work. So I got in touch with the people that I bought the the bumper off of, which well they'll stay nameless for now. And I said, well hey, this isn't working. What's going on? Is it the fog lights? I don't think the fog lights are good. Okay, so they get in touch with the vendor that they use to get the bumper or whatever. Blah blah blah. Long story short, they said I needed to update the sales code and. Or flash the computer in the Jeep and it'll recognize the LEDs. So that's what I did today. Sure enough, it did not work. <laughs> so I sent the invoice to the company that I bought the bumper from and saying, okay, send me fog lights so I can fix this. Uh, so we'll see where that goes. But anyway, that's the long story short uh, of the fog light drama that is going on. I, this is probably the biggest issue I've had with my Jeep Gladiator or any Jeep that I've owned in 20-something years. Like, this is the biggest pain in the ass that I've had to deal with. But anyway, you know, first world problems, really. Mm. But my dad and I were hanging out a little earlier, too. And that was fun. Now, before I get into the smoke notes and notes that I'm picking up here, let's get into the tin note, which is, I really shouldn't do the tin note because it's a burly, you kind of know what to expect. It's that nutty, woody hint of cocoa. I get a little hint of like a cocoa, almost haunted bookshop-like, but not quite, not as strong, I don't think, not as... Um, and that is, I don't want to say sweet, or maybe tart is the word I'm looking for. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm sorry for the lighting. The lights, I don't know what the deal is. I got this light on, that light, I don't know. Things are falling apart. F bad luck with lights. Fog lights, shed lights, I can't win. Um, and by the way, using the old uh, hot dog lighter. This is the classic original when I started this uh, channel. Old reliable, old faithful. I've had it longer than that, though. But, uh... You know, someone mentioned in the comments from my last video, because I'd, I'd bought this. I'd mentioned I'd bought two of them. And they said it didn't do much for them. That they prefer haunted bookshop. Man, that cardinal's singing like a, like a crazy one. 
and I have to agree. I mean, this is good. I like this. this so far, it's, it's enjoyable. It's a good burly. I like it. Um, what's the burly that I had? Oh, what the hell is it? Burly number four? Five? Something like that. I think it was Cornell and Deal. I think that had a little bit more punch than this. If I remember, that was like a year ago. But for me, I don't know. All right, let's 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 see what I'm getting for notes here. Kind of a, sorry, I'm really enjoying the, the pipe and the, and the cardinal that's singing. Of course, I got a plane flying by, so that ruins the moment. I seem to be getting the smoke going more of a retro hail with me, like it's going up more than I expected. It seems like a a muted version of like Burley. I think it's number four, number five. I can't remember what what that number what what number it was, but I remember that being a pretty decent um, Burley. And it seems I'm trying to remember here stronger than what this is in Haunted Bookshop. Well, I mean, I love it. But this isn't bad. I like this. Um, shoot, I can't remember what that... I'm trying to look at the tins that I left here, where, it, <laughs> what it is and where it went, went. I think I brought it in the house. But I get like a woody... woody kind of forest kind of note, if you will. I don't, that makes no sense, but to me it does. And of course, I'm smoking in the Peterson pipe right here, uh, the pub pipe, which N.W. Piper, man, this is a great pipe. And I noticed the, 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 haunted, the haunted bookshop, look at me, uh, the pipe nook um, has some Peterson pipes, look pretty interesting, I may have to pull the trigger. And this one, the dismiss lighter, dissim, dissif, dismiss, dissim. Um, I'm probably gonna get another one, and uh, third time's a try, and that'll be the last one, and then I'll probably do a review on that lighter. I again don't recommend getting that lighter. Although I know, I think N.W. Piper, he has it. He said good luck, uh, and when I do buy the next one, because a lot of people have said you gotta buy the fancy. Uh, butane for it or the fuel and I will do that just to make sure I've taken out all the variables. I personally think it's me shoving this too far in there and it's getting gooked up and that's my, I think it's me. But this is an enjoyable smoke. It's a uh... Uh, you can, oh. Now, there's a bit of a, I don't I, I guess a citrusy kind of note, and I wonder if that's the Turkish that's in there. Uh, the, uh, what was it? Hold on a second. 
Um, let's see. What do we got in here? Early Oriental Turkish uh, and the Virginia. So, I wonder if that's a little... So, it says it has honey, sweet, and vanilla. I don't get that at all. Uh, I had a little bit of cocoa-ish smell in the tin note, but I'm not getting anything other than a typical burly kind of smoke and note um, that you would get. Um... Uh, and of course, Jim Lynx, <laughs> who I always refer to because he's like the pipe smoking poet. Um, so he's got earth, wood, nuts, mild, creamy, cocoa. And I get a little bit of cocoa, light, sharp, dry sourness. Maybe that's what I'm tasting, like tangy. Um, but I don't get any of all, all of this. I mean, he's got quite, quite the thing, man. I'm jealous of his ability to, to get all that, but... Uh, so overall, they give it a 2.7 out of 24 reviews. I'd say that's about right. Yeah, it's a good smoky note. It's not, um, I want to say it's almost a, like that tangy note that I've been getting. It's like a floral kind of note. Uh, and it's not bad. It's a little different. Like, I don't get this, I don't recall from any burly quite like this. But this is okay. It's okay. It's, uh, it's not going to make my list at the end of the year, I can tell you that. There's too many other burlies that are, I think are better, or I feel better, that are better. But if you picked up a tin, not a bad idea. It's not bad. You're shopping, you're looking for some tobaccos to try, different stuff, and you know what? Pick this up, too. It's not bad. If you can get it. I don't know if it's available. It's a small batch. Um, I would say go to Haunted Bookshop or Burley Number 5, 4, whatever the hell that is, and I can't remember. I did a video on it. It's somewhere in my, my Tin Notes uh, playlist collection. You'll find it. Pretty sure I like that. Anyway. Not too bad. I can recommend it. It's worth a it's worth a try for someone. Maybe someone will like it far more than me. But in any case, I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Uh, I get some stuff I gotta go catch up on and whatnot. So anyway, enjoy your day. I'll catch you guys hopefully this weekend. I got lots of soccer going on, so I got double headers and all that stuff. So I'm gonna try to squeeze a video in tomorrow night or even. Sunday at some point. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, thanks for stopping by. Hope this review kind of helped. I don't know. If you guys tried 8 State Burley, I know one of somebody in the comments uh, from my last video did, obviously, and they said they were eh, on it as well. So I'm just curious if this is an overhyped one. Um, I would kind of say, yeah, I think it's overhyped. It's a, it's a good blend, not a bad blend. I, I don't think it can go wrong, but I don't think it's... Like, I'll never get this again. <laughs> I gotta be honest. I got two tins. And what I may give away, if I do something, I get to a thousand subscribers. I may do something. I'm not saying I am, but I may do something. Um, I probably wouldn't reach for this again. Uh, anyway, I'm out of here. Take care. See you guys later.